Today, I have one of my most highly requested videos from you guys in weeks, and that is recreating the career of Miss Sabrina Carpenter. So I thought it was perfect timing because her album is about to drop and her track list for her album, Short and Sweet, just dropped. So I thought it was perfect for me to do her career recreation now because we officially have the song titles. So as you guys know, career recreations are literally one of my most favorite things I've ever done on my channel. And I'm so happy I finally found another artist to recreate. We have to be born a female named Sabrina Carpenter, obviously, be born in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, but Quakertown's not a bit like so I just chose like Phoenix or Philadelphia. I have special talent to singing. We also have to do acting lessons because her career consisted of way more than just singing. Like she always sang, but she did start off as like a young actress. So career is there. We have all her discography for her music. And then I'm going to do something different because this album short and sweet has not yet been released. So I'm going to release the album, but then I'm going to release each song from the track list on its own just for the hell of it. So with that being said, let's just start Sabrina's life. So I have Sabrina here. Okay, I made us be from Pittsburgh. I have our special talent as music. This is our appearance. Unfortunately, BitLife doesn't really have a lot of hair options. I was really hoping I could find the hair that's like that where she has her curtain bangs, but unfortunately it's not a thing. But the good thing is these BitLife characters actually do have like a little bit of blush on their cheeks, so it works. You guys know damn well for her attributes, I gave us full everything because it's always challenging when you have to work simultaneously at acting and singing so i really hope that i can do this why do i talk so much with my hands so let's just check all that good stuff off so all i have to do for my childhood is acting and singing let's get started come become a patron and join the patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto youtube and unlock early access to my new podcast lost and loud so i was born a female in pittsburgh united states i was conceived at disneyland <laughs> shut up my father got excited while writing it's a small world if that's not the opposite of nonsense, I don't know what is. Hint, hint. Shut up, my dad's name is Willie. <laughs> the jokes are just making themselves at this point. What am I even doing here? <laughs> also, I decided to wear this headband because it's giving Sabrina. If only I had a nice like espresso brown colored one, but that's not the case. Mm -hmm. My birthday's October 19th and I am a Libra. I have a new sister, Giselle. I wonder if Sabrina Carpenter has siblings. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're officially eight years old and it is time to see if my parents will let us do both acting and singing. It's more important for them to let me do acting because acting isn't our special talent, music is. So <laughs> fingers crossed. Nice. Oh yes, she agreed. Well, both my parents agreed. Okay, and now let's see if they let me do vocals. Nice. Period, let's go and roll in voice lessons, yes. Okay, so now this part is always like the boring part, you know what I mean? But we are just working on those skills. Until we get to middle school where we have to join all the clubs, we're just doing voice lessons and acting. My parents wanna buy me a parakeet named Cuddles Aww. and it's purple. <laughs> I have to get it, she's purple. Your parents brought home a bird named Cuddles and she said Cuddles, how can I resist that? It's official, we are now in middle school and as you guys can see our acting skill is like halfway and our voice lessons are almost full. And that's really good considering we haven't done any clubs yet. I'm honestly kind of surprised because sometimes when I have to do both at the same time, acting literally like won't budge. Even though it's supposed to be easier than vocals, like it's crazy, but let's join the clubs now. So drama club for sure, okay? And let's see if there's any choir or anything. There's not, that's fine. But the vocal skill is easier when it's your special talent anyway. If vocals aren't your special talent, it takes so much work. Oh my god, we failed. Okay, but I could picture Sabrina with some cute glasses. Give me like a thin pair. Yeah, like that. Okay, she's rocking it. <gasps> my parakeet died. I had her for like, what, two years? But she was my purple friend. <laughs> your fellow members of the drama club at your middle school have nominated you to be treasurer. Why, thank you. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> So this is a status update with our acting skill. So slowly but surely it is getting there. I definitely think by the time we graduate high school, it will be full for our acting career. <laughs> so since we're 16, I joined the clubs in high school. I did get a car from my parents, so I'm going to sell this for money. And I also want to get a job, a part-time job as a barista, because it's just going to be cute with the whole espresso thing. So we're just going to try and look for part-time jobs. If it's not there, GG. Barista, there it is. Okay, let's go. Yes. My stress is really high, guys. 
Like, it's literally red. It's okay, as long as we don't die. <laughs> okay, president of the drama club. Let's see if that boosted our stat. Oh, yeah. There we go. We've officially graduated, and I'm so excited to start a career. Okay, take time off. Itchy scalp. Stop. These headbands, like, actually make my head itchy, and now that it's said that, it's itching again. I have lice. Good to know. Well, it's a good thing these are not real eyebrows, and they're tattooed on. So, yeah, acting, I have to take the L and pay, because I need to get it as high as possible before we start applying for jobs. Okay, good enough. Let's just go to our list now. So become an actress. We haven't checked that off yet. I didn't include um, the whole barista thing on the list because it was kind of a spontaneous decision, but pretty much we are going to become an actress. Now we're going to make this a very short lived career. I pretty much just want us to nail the girl meets world or boy meets world acting gig. So I'm going to do some roles if ones don't pop up as that to kind of build my reputation. But if either of those pop up, once I actually get that job, I'm going to end the acting career there. So then we have to quit acting and become a pop star. Unfortunately, in BitLife, you can't do both at the same time. So we do have to go one at a time. So let's just start the actress. Let's just cross that off real quick. It's time to quit the barista career. We're now just going to make songs about baristas. <laughs> and, and let's try and become an actor. So let's just do some extra work. Okay, we'll be a swimmer. So now let's look for auditions. Cause I know BitLife has the whole like sweet life of Jack and Brody. They have like a girl or boy meets world version. I just can't remember which one it was. So as long as it's one or the other, that's fine. So there's nothing for the TV shows. So that's fine. So let's just try and get a short, small role for a movie. Didn't get that. Okay, All Hallows Eve. Didn't get a callback. I love my life. What about iCarly? I did that in a previous BitLife video I filmed recently. Shut up, we got it, except I'm Sammy. I'm Sam. They need me to poke a bat. I'm gonna get rabies. I refuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Encore Broadcasting is arguing with you because you refuse to poke a bat. Well, it sucks to suck. I'll apologize, but I'm not sorry. I'm famous, period. Okay. So we're gonna develop our character. We're gonna practice our lines, get a bit of a good reputation, and then hopefully nail the boy or girl meets world. Between takes, your co-star Tacey approaches you and confides that he's having a hard time memorizing his lines. Study them every day, honey. That's how you do it. <laughs> You're backstage, excited to appear on the Johnny Harder show to promote I, Charlie, but the previous guest spent too much time talking about his grooming habits. Thanks for that. And the director says they have to bump you from the show. See, if we were embodying the character of Sam herself, we would either pull the fire alarm, yell profanities, or probably confront the host, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna let it go. And we got a video nomination. Attend in person. <laughs> One. Not that I wasn't expecting that, of course. We're so talented. I want a little bit of smugness in there, but mostly gratitude. Good, they gave me a standing ovation. That should really bring my reputation up. See, yeah, it did. Right there, 100%. So now that we did that, I think it's time we quit. <laughs> I want to get girl or boy meets world, please. My fame is high. It's high enough. It's like 30%. So let's try and actually do like a commercial maybe. Carly's restaurant. I Carly. A book. <gasps> yes. Me no, I need my name in it. Sabrina Carpenter, a confessional tale. It was a success. Photo shoot, no. Talk show, no. Okay, that's fine. We boosted it by like 10%. Nope, it is not there. So let's just try and find movie roles in the meantime. So that way I don't have to like quit a show. Let's try the Adams Family. We got it. Okay, negotiate for more money. Good, 2% box office bonus. Okay, my fame did go up, but let's check for Girl Meets World again. Not there. Manifesting it will be soon. I found it. I found it. I realized, I because I totally forgot that if you go back in time and age a year, it freaking refreshes the roles. So I did that, and we finally found School Girl Meets world so it is officially time to audition and if we don't get it i'm going back in time and no one can stop me thanks okay so let's request an audition we got it thank you thank you negotiate for my money though it's only four thousand an episode i'll take it though <laughs> i'm playing marcos gump thanks for that <laughs> Okay, so let's do a year of School Girl Meets World and then we'll start our pop star career. As part of your work on School Girl Meets World, Atomic TV is requiring you to drink squid ink. Happily agree. <laughs> Delicious. It's like one of those like AI NPC people on TikTok. Mmm, yummy, squid ink, tasty. <laughs> and we won a video award, okay. I am not surprised. It's time to storm off and quit now. <laughs> 
The one thing I can't remember is I have to age out the actor fame to get pop star fame. We'll find out eventually in this video if I had to do that. So let's just cross everything off. Okay, so we got the Girl Meets World. We quit acting and we are officially on to our pop star career. So now I just have to get a pop star contract with a record label. And we are starting off with our 2014 singles. We're now on the lookout for a music career. It might be a bit difficult because sometimes I struggle when I have to do both at the same time, but I think I'll be able to do it. So let's apply for a solo artist as a singer. Opus Beats. Oh, that. <laughs> I did not perform well. Okay, a singer at Green Valley Studios. Why am I not getting a callback? It's literally a full bar. Maybe I have to age out the fame. I don't know. My whole video is relying on this. They're literally laughing at me. Oh, that one went good. <laughs> it's reggae though. <laughs> that's not what I needed. I don't know if it's the fame from being an actor that's screwing me up, but that's hilarious. Oh, that one went good. Country though. No, that did not happen. Ah, wow, look at that, a whole new bit life. Who would have thought? I totally did an audition for a country artist. <laughs> Opus Beast went well, folk. Are you folking kidding me? Guys, I'm sorry, I have too many dad jokes. I just can't resist. When there's a dad joke in reach, I just have to grab it. I just, I just can't help myself. Worship music. I mean, her feather music video, right? There we go, pop. Sign the contract, please. So guys, we are officially now in the year 2014 where we have her singles that we're gonna release. We're gonna stick with the sing-along genre for Sabrina. So the first single we're doing is Can't Blame a Girl for Trying. It was only a success. You know what? That's fine for our first song. As long as we get at least one diamond. Okay, it went gold though, but we aged. Now we have our next single, The Middle of Starting Over. That was only a moderate success too. So hopefully we have better luck with like our first album because now it's time for the album. We have the album Eyes Wide Open with 12 tracks and for the lead off track, I chose Too Young. Literally three moderate successes in a row or like the first one was a success, not a moderate success, but it is not a certificate and I want a certificate. What's going on? We'll go on a world tour to solve all our problems. Now we have our next single, Will Be The Stars. Moderate success. See, I'm, for some reason, I think it's the freaking famous actor thing getting in the way. This whole video has just been a sigh for me. The audacity. Okay, we're renewing our pop contract though. So at least we have that. The middle of starting over went gold after some time, so I will take that. Your girl's happy as long as everything gets at least some kind of certificate, not just moderate. See, will be the stars went gold too. Now we have the actual single of Eyes Wide Open. Disappointment. This is not right. Is it cause I'm a famous actor? What do I do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Now we have smoke and fire. Moderate success. I'm gonna cry. I think I think I quit my career. I am dropping out of school. I'm deleting my YouTube channel. I've never had such bad luck. My karma must be perfect. We're doing literal world tours. Like it's going gold after the fact, but what is happening before the fact? My luck, it's just on fire today. Oh, get it? Fire, smoke and fire, are you kidding? Why does that literally look inappropriate? Oh my God, <laughs> I just draw a nipple. <laughs> so now we have the next single on purpose, success. Okay, at least it was a success, not just a moderate success, but I'm kind of sad that things aren't doing as well as I wanted them to. But hopefully this next album saves us, the Evolution album. So here we have the 10 track Evolution album. And for this lead off track, I chose no words. Okay. This is the first one that has gone gold right away. So we're starting to do something right. <laughs> Cause this has been tough. Okay, so now we have the single thumbs. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, dad jokes. Okay, this one went gold right away too, period. Okay, this is actually starting to go pretty decent now. Now we have the next single hands. That went gold too. Okay, I'm really hoping I start to see some diamonds soon. I really think it was the actor fame that affected it. I should have aged that out. But, oh well. Now we have our next single, Y. Gold as well. That's, this is starting to seem suspicious now. <laughs> like why is it always gold? But now we're on to the next album. Usually the albums do pretty well when you space them out with singles. So we have the Singular Act 1 album with eight tracks. And for the lead off track, we have Miss Mona Lisa. Girl, oh my gosh, guys, these eyebrows, I just got nano brows, right? The touch up, they're so itchy, but I'm not allowed to itch them. 
So I use my fan to itch them with air. 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 Please give me platinum. Oh my God, it was a success. <sighs> Trying not to rage quit. Like just like, like, please. World tour though, the dopamine of money. Now we have our next single alien, gold. Okay, yeah, I think it's a stupid acting fame. I'm like, I'm like malfunctioning. I'm like glitching like an AI. <gasps> there we go. Thumbs went platinum. This is the start. This is the start. This is what I like to see. So now we have our next single, Almost Love, Diamond. <laughs> if that's not the opposite of diamond. I almost quit my contract. That would have been bad. <laughs> Speaking of, the next single is Sue Me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. That would be so good if if you walk out of like an acting or singing contract in BitLife, they could sue you. Like that wouldn't be good for you, but that'd be like realistic. You guys, double platinum. That means that if it continues to do well, this could go diamond in maybe like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> right now we sold 4 million copies. We just need to sell 6 million more to go diamond. I think we can do it. Finally, we are making way here. We are making progress. Now we have on my way gold. Okay, I'll take it if it's gold. Now we have exhale. <laughs> Success, I think it's because I did the cover art as a banana. The banana was not able to exhale. The banana's dead. So now we have In My Bed. And I'm not gonna lie at first, this reminded me of In My Head by Jason Derulo. That's what I thought it was at first, but there we have it. Oh, I already did a song that year. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Gold. Okay, we'll take it. We're finally on to the next album. We're on to Singular Act Part 2 with 11 tracks. And for the lead track, I chose Take You Back. Gold. I just want a diamond. It's not fair. The good thing, though, is our acting fame is almost completely gone so i'm really hoping we recover with fame from pop so i'm getting sad <laughs> i'm getting really really sad because i kind of fumbled that i should not have gotten myself to 100 fame like i did i really thought oh yeah let's do a photo shoot let's do a commercial let's release a book i thought it was a good idea at the time but now it's biting me because i especially have to make sure i'm famous before we release nonsense and feather and all that stuff I need it to go viral. <laughs> I need it to go viral. But now we're on to the next single, Honeymoon Fades. Gold, okay. Hands went platinum. Let's go. Okay. That's what I like to see, you guys. Is there anything I can do to reduce my fame? Signing up for social media and then requesting verification, getting rejected, that'll boost me to under. Yep. Yep. Zero percent. Okay. There we go. Our star has waned. But as you can see, our popularity as a singer has finally popped up. So I was right. The whole acting thing did mess it up. Oh my God, and now it's time to actually release skin. But this was the whole Olivia Rodrigo era when she released skin. And I remember it was a bop. Moderate success. That is literally untrue. Bit lives lying at this point. Liars, all of them. We officially are a famous pop star, you guys. We officially have our fame back. So now I can work on building it again. But now it's time for skinny dipping the single. And this time I'm keeping banana. No one can stop me. Watch, diamond. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, to really boost my fame, I am making sure we do like the world tours, the concerts, all that jazz. Because I need it. I desperately need it. I might need the help of social media. Let's see if we can sign up for Instagram. Maybe they'll verify us. They did. They did. Okay, fame is going up. So if they verified my Instagram, they'll definitely verify like my TikTok. That should get us to 100% fame. Oh, Shut up. They God. actually rejected me. No way. That brought me down. That's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. It's fine. We're just going to drop an album. We are just going to drop a banger album. Okay, emails I can't send. So here we have the emails I can't send album with 13 tracks. And for the lead track, I chose Read Your Mind. It was only a success. The audacity. Okay, we're officially on to nonsense, guys. The banger after banger after banger. A silver statue of you. Nonsense. <laughs> Let's go and win diamond. You're actually kidding. No, like you're actually kidding. Like this whole time I was like, oh my God, we gotta be famous by the time we get to nonsense. And nonsense went diamond. I feel at peace now. And look how rich we are. 87 million. Yo, Sabrina probably is more. Not even lying. Now it's just banger after banger. Okay, now we have feather. Gold, I'll take it. That one gold too. Oh my God, espresso's next. <laughs> Let's go. Please, we need another diamond for this one. Literal song of the summer. Okay, what, what would be good for espresso? Not really any of these. We'll just go with a hand-drawn image of my face. <laughs> just a success. 
That is insulting to Miss Carpenter. Actually, though, what the hell? Okay, in my bed went platinum. That made up for it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Espresso went gold. That made up for it, too. You know what? Oh, my God. Please, please, please. Dude, when I tell you that, please, please, please. Oh, my God. There's a hair. Please, please, please is constantly stuck in my head. Every time I play Stardew Valley, I'm just listening to please, please, please don't prove them right. Diamond. <laughs> gold disco ball. That's cool. <laughs> Literal her two bangers, okay, besides espresso. Diamond, oh my gosh, iconic, iconic. Okay, so that was it for her actual released music. So now for a little fun segment. This is something I haven't necessarily done in any of these videos, but considering she already had a really like developed discography of acting plus music, it's just the mere fact that I just couldn't wait till her album dropped to film this video. So I'm going to do short and sweet in BitLife and then release all 12 tracks at once. Okay, so here we have it. Oh my god, way to have like character development through this. Like literal just disappointments, moderate successes, to golds, to platinums, diamond after freaking diamond. I love it. Okay, so since I'm not going to pick a lead off track because I want to release each song individually, we'll just let BitLife choose. Okay, golds. You know what? I'm happy with my two diamond. So now officially, ooh, I got attacked. So now officially, since we released the album, we are going to release all 12 tracks. So as you can see, we've already released Please, 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 and we've already released Espresso. So it's actually the other 10. And if you're not sure what her other tracks are, there's Taste, Good Graces, Sharpest Tool, Coincidence, Bed Chem, Dumb and Poetic, Slim Pickens, Juno, Lie to Girls, and Don't Smile. So now we have our first single, Taste. That went gold, okay. Next is Good Graces. <laughs> Just a success. Oh my God. That girl is gonna have a diamond album. Just watch, just watch. Sharpest Tool is such a funny t title because it's probably her talking about how the guy is literally a tool, but he's literally the sharpest tool. <laughs> Golds, oh my God, I need another diamond, please. It's like the tool. So next is Coincidence. Double platinum, not bad, not bad. I'm actually kind of happy with that. Now we have Bed Chem. Golds, okay. Now we have Dumb and Poetic. I love it. Success only. Oh my god. Not happy with that. So next is Slim Pickens and I just have to do the banana again. <sighs> I can't resist the temptation. <laughs> Shut up, it went double platinum. Dude, the power of the banana, I'm telling you. 9.2 million copies sold. That's gonna go diamond. Safe, look at that. Slim Pickens on diamond. Now we have the single Juno and I'm not sure if she meant it but like that all i can think about is that movie juno or was it a tv show but that's the first thing that came to mind golds okay so we just have two more left lie to girls and don't smile lie to girls went gold and it's officially time for the final single well final unreleased single don't smile like ever never, never. see guys i could be an actress <laughs> let's do a gold statue of me telling people not to smile golds okay well <laughs> kind of anticlimactic i guess you could say <laughs> But there we go, that officially completes the Sabrina Carpenter career recreation. Look at that, everything crossed off. Tanya's proud of herself. <laughs> that was actually so much fun and that went a lot better than it did in the beginning. So I thought it was gonna go so much worse. The beginning was kind of awful and I was really scared like we wouldn't get to any diamonds, honestly. So I want to age a couple years, probably till we're 70 to see if any of our platinums or double platinums made it to diamond. Nope. Okay. So let's just do a rundown of our discography to see what went diamond. Eyes wide open didn't get anything. That's never happened to me in a long time. Everything would always at least go gold. Okay. That's kind of... <laughs> okay. So Sumi is double platinum still. 7.4 million copies. Nonsense. The first diamond single... 32 million copies sold. And then we had please, please, please... 20 million copies sold. Coincidence is at 6.2, so it didn't quite make it to diamond. And finally, Slim Pickens went diamond, guys. That was really fun. You guys should definitely go try this. Also, let me know in the comments down below whose career I should recreate next. I always have so much fun doing these videos. I haven't done one of these in a while. I really thought it was a good idea to come back into this series with Sabrina Carpenter, and I'm really excited to see her new album. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.